Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on the new Gucci mascara. If you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. So this is kind of a video for all of the short lashed girls out there. I wanted to try some more mascaras and see if I could find any miracle mascaras for my short lashes. The mascara comes in this gorgeous cardboard packaging pink, baby pink with a black trim all around it. I had a look at my other mascaras, the Pat McGrath and the Charlotte Tilbury, and they're both eight mils. This is 6.5 mils, so it's a bit less. It's 0.21 fluid ounces. And yeah, it says on the front, lash by lash, buildable volume. So I am expecting some volume. If you look at the images on their website of the girls with the lashes, they've done like really short, clumpy lashes. Um, so it doesn't make you feel like it's going to be a good mascara, but I have heard good things about it, so I felt like I would give it a try anyway. It is really pretty. So it comes in a glossy baby pink, kind of blush pink tube with Gucci on the front. And it comes with like a gold lid. It's super nice. It looks very vintage and very old school glamour, which I do really like. It's got a nice weight to it as well. I think that's mainly the lid. I had a look on their website and it says, buildable, versatile, intense black hue, the ultra rich creamy formula, builds volume, adding length and definition with a long wearing finish, lasts up to 12 hours. Flexible elastomer brush can be positioned horizontally or vertically. So that's what Gucci have said about it. I actually didn't get this from the Gucci website, even though I really wanted to. Apparently, if you order it on the Gucci website, you get like a Gucci little dust bag. It's all very chic. You get Gucci packaging. It's all very glam. But because of the current situation, they're not shipping anything from Italy. So I actually got it from the Harrods website in the UK. And I believe you can find it in the US from Sephora as well. It is £30 and... 35 US dollars for a luxury end mascara. It's not a crazy price. I do like the look of this brush already. It's kind of big in the middle and quite small at the tip, which is nice because you can get into those smaller lashes as well. It's kind of even all the way around. Yeah, it feels quite comfortable to hold. It's nice. This is a bit slippery this side. So once again, I have very short lashes. So hopefully this will work on me. If it works on me, I feel like it will definitely work on you. It's quite hard to use. And I feel like it's clumping up my lashes. They do look longer though. Comparison. So I'm gonna try it on the other side. I'm gonna use the same method, but now I've kind of done it once, I hopefully will be better at it this time. It definitely does like, get everywhere. It's a hot mess. I do like it, and I like it when I'm standing away from it. I feel like it looks really good. My eyes are very open, and my lashes look very big and long, and quite full and dark. But close up, it just feels like a bit messy, and a bit scattered, and a bit clumpy in some places. What I did really like with this mascara is using it vertically. Using it that way was really nice and easy. I think because it's like, very even and also the tip is very thin you can really go through so even if you do have clumpy lashes you can just separate them with this as it is new there is still quite a lot of product in the tube so i think as it dries out it will become quite a helpful mascara for like separating lashes and also i think it would look a lot more even so that is the Gucci mascara guys. I'm pretty happy with it. I do like it. I think it's nice. There are a few things I would say. This base of the tube is quite slippery. Also the brush the first time you use it is quite difficult to work with and manage and control. But yeah, I do think it's definitely giving me lashes. It's definitely giving me really good length. They're not as fluffy as when I use the Pat McGrath one or the Charlotte Tilbury one. 30 pounds, it's not bad. And if you did want like a nice little pick me up product, to kind of make you feel better and all of the stress and drama that's going on. I think it's definitely a good purchase. It's a really good mascara, but it's not the best mascara of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.